Olsen Field at Blue Bell Park, home of Texas A&M Baseball, one of the top programs in the nation. I'm Tina Wynn with 12 Man Productions, alongside our tour guide for today, Logan Foster. Logan, what makes this place so special? You know, besides having the 12th man behind us here at Olsen Field at Blue Bell Park, uh, we definitely have one of the best facilities in the country. All right, so where are we at first? We are currently here in the lobby, and uh, basically this is what we see every morning right when we walk through the doors. Uh, you can definitely see all the hardware that's up top with the trophies and everything. Okay, you wanna head down this hall? For sure. All right, let's go. So what is this wall right here? Uh, this wall is basically all the history of Texas A&M baseball. So this is the first thing we see every morning. Um, you have a lot of greats up on this wall. You got Coach Johnson, um, Michael Walker's up here, Ross Stripling, Tyler Naquin. Definitely a lot of guys that have made an impact on this program. When you walk down this hallway and see just the history of this program, what does it mean to you to be a part of it? You know, being able to see these guys and they were in the same shoes that we are and being able to put on the same uniform that they did, it, it's definitely an honor. And when you walk down this hallway, you see this. Last year you guys were at Omaha, so what was it like? You know, you're a Nebraska boy, so what was it like to kind of go back home? Being able to go back home to Omaha, I mean, I grew up taking pictures by the statue since I was little, and it's what every team strives for is to make it back to Omaha, but we're a little bit different. We don't, not only do we want to make it to Omaha, we want to win the last one. Where are we headed to next? Next up, we got the locker room, usually only players only, but we'll give you the sneak peek. All right. Basically, this is this is our second home. Um, we spend the majority of our time in here. Usually, we have snacks out on the table for us when we have games for before games, and a lot of guys hang out here, do homework, watch TV. Um, I don't know if, if you know this or not, but these are the most special guys on the team right here. You got Zach Deloach, who's a freshman and then Braden Shoemake, who was the newcomer of the year last year and the freshman of the year as well. So, you said, oh, special guys. You're right by them, too. So I mean, <laughs> I, I'm just lucky enough to be able to be next to Braden Shoemake. Okay. Um, he's also my roommate, so I mean, it kind of works out, okay. but it's always nice to have Braden, Braden next to me. there was your shout out. You're welcome. Okay, so this what is lounge. this? Right. This is where we spend most of our time before games. A lot of guys come in here, play Fortnite, as you can see. Who do we have here? We got Michael Hellman, AKA Cowboy. This kid definitely spends the most time in here playing Fortnite. As you can see, we got ping pong and pool. A lot of guys spend time on the pool table. Okay. Uh, who's the most competitive in ping pong? Definitely me. I'm, okay. I'm by far the most competitive ping pong Let's player. Let's test that out. Oh, you want to play? Yes. Okay. All right. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, my. She just beat me in ping pong. Yeah. Mike, did you hear that? She just beat me in ping pong. We <laughs> are the champ. I'm kidding. Hey, that was good. That was good. That's a good game. All right, that's good. All right, as we walk down this hallway, I see the jerseys. So what's the significance of this? All the jerseys are former Aggies that have made it to the major leagues. So this is pretty pretty big for all of us to see all these jerseys and basically what Texas A&M has to offer for us. Nice. All right, so the weight room. Do we love this place? Do we hate it? It depends on the day. Some okay. days we love it and some days we don't really like it, but um, there's some guys that spend a lot of time in here, and uh, it tends to pay all for them. Okay, who spends the most time in here? Uh, the two guys I think spend the most time in here are Casey Sherrod and Cole Bedford. They always go into competitions on who can do the most curls or just random stuff like that. <laughs> Okay, so last stop of this tour, where does this door lead to? Uh, this door leads to the dugout, which of course goes out to the field. Mm -hmm. What are your emotions when you walk through these doors? As it says, define your legacy. So every time you walk through these doors, like you have an opportunity to do something great, and it's also magic, and there's always a chance for that to happen every single game. All right, well that concludes our tour. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for coming to the crib.